Joe Biden and President Trump met in a debate unlike any other tonight, one that many are calling chaotic and ugly. And at times, moderator Chris Wallace struggled to maintain order. The candidates weighed in on a range of issues from race to the integrity of the November election. As our ABC tennis reporter Anthony Perra shows us, they were often talking over one another. The nation watched Tuesday as President Donald Trump and his challenger, former Vice President Joe Biden, took the debate stage in Cleveland. The candidates on the attack when asked about the pandemic. He knew it was a deadly disease. What did he do? He's on tape as acknowledging he knew it. He said he didn't tell us or give people a warning of it because he didn't want to panic the American people. You don't panic. He panicked. If we would have listened to you, the country would have been left wide open. Millions of people would have died, not 200,000. And one person is too much. It's China's fault. It should have never happened. Biden was asked whether he would support ending the filibuster or packing the court. That led to a heated exchange. I'm not going to answer the question Why because, would you answer that because question? the you question want to put is a lot of the new question Supreme is Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, on, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? The president also asked about his tax returns from 2016 and 2017. Is it true that you paid $750 in federal income taxes each of those two years? I paid millions of dollars in taxes. There was a story in one of the papers. Show I paid, your tax I paid $38 million one year. I paid $27 million Show us your tax year. returns. I went, uh, you'll see it as soon as it's finished. Both were asked why voters should trust them with race issues facing the country. They did a crime bill, 1994, where you called them super predators, African Americans, the super predators, and they've never That's forgotten it. it. They've never forgotten it, Jeff. This is a president who has used everything as a dog whistle to try to generate racist hatred, racist division. The candidates also asked about mail-in ballots and how confident the country should be that it will be a fair election. The fact is that there are going to be millions of people because of COVID that are going to be voting by mail and ballots, like he does, by the way. He sits behind the Resolute desk and sends his ballot to Florida. As far as the ballots are concerned, it's a disaster. A solicited ballot, okay, solicited is okay. You're soliciting, you're asking, they send it back, you send it back. I did that. If you have an unsolicited, they're sending millions of ballots all over the country. There's fraud. Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News. Kamala Harris and Mike Pence will square off in a vice presidential debate next Wednesday. Biden and Trump are back for the next presidential debate October the 15th.